secret notebook. No, I wasn't looking at it. Hi, James from Ingrid. I was smiling because, well, I'm going to teach you something today that I don't think any other teacher would dare do. I'm going to teach you, dun 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 dun, it's just criminal. In North America today, about 20% of all our programming is on law and order. Good guys, bad guys, criminal acts. I'm not going to teach you to be a criminal, that's my next lesson. <laughs> I have another website I'll tell you later, how to carjack. Anyway, I'm joking. But if you want to enjoy our entertainment, you're going to want to know these words. But not only that, there's one word I'm going to teach you today, which is going to sound very familiar to you, which is very important for you, actually, and for your safety. So believe it or not, as much as I'm going to joke, there's also going to be a safety message in here. It's how to get the most out of the police when you're in a dangerous situation. Okay? So, of course, I'm going to start at the one that's least useful to you to make it more exciting. Let's go to the board. Number one, hold up. Actually, before we go back, Mr. E, he is prisoner at 666, uh, uh, 666.5. He's a bad guy. He's got a gun and a cigarette. He's a criminal. And the lesson today is, it's just criminal. Huh? We say that in Canada when we say the prices or something is bad, like the prices are too high. It's just criminal. Something bad is happening. In this case, we're using it for all the actions <laughs> Mr. E is doing. He's been a very, oops, busy little worm. Sorry. There. There you are. He's a very busy little worm. Don't want to forget the other diagram. What's going on? Okay, first one, hold up. In North America, hold up means to wait. Okay, if somebody says to you, what is the hold up? Maybe you're in line. Hey, what's the hold up? Huh? What's the hold up? Why am I waiting? Well, we also use this in a different way in a bank. When you go to a bank, sometimes you're walking in, you're about to go, doo -doo -doo, you got some money, you're all happy, going to cast your check, you see all the people in the bank doing this. Keep walking. There's a hold up. The people are waiting, as in hold up, because somebody has a gun. <laughs> see? That's why he's not happy. They're holding their hands up. See Mr. E's holding his hands above his head? They usually say, Stick your hands up, hold your hands in the air, put your hands in the air, hold them up there, keep them there, and you wait. So it's two things, hold up, hold your hands up in the air, hold up, you have to wait because somebody is stealing the money from the bank or a store. So if someone tells you there's a hold up going on the store down there, careful. If you don't see a long line of people outside the building, going, don't go there. It's being robbed. Someone is stealing at that moment. Call the police. Second one, carjack. This is new to North America. It's only about 10 years old. A jack, well, if you play cards, a jack is a face of a card. A jack is used in Canada when people have, at your house, you want to lift up a car, you go, pff, 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 and the car goes up, up, up. You lift the car up. It moves the car. Obviously, this is a car, so you got a car and a jack. A car jack is when a criminal takes your car while you're driving it. Here's a story I heard a long time ago. I'm not too sure if it's, it's somewhere in South America. What they would do is, this is how they would carjack. They would get a giant rat, okay, a big rat. And you know, because it's so hot, people would take the roof down on the car. The car wouldn't have a roof. It would be a yeah, sunroof. They'd be driving, so happy on their vacation. And then the people would throw the rat in the car and the people would run out of the car. As they would run out of the car, the thieves would run into the car and drive away. The people were carjacked. So if somebody comes up when you're driving and you stop your car, and they say, excuse me, do you have the time? Or excuse me, can you tell me something? You roll down your window and look and go, what? And they go, here, you, get out! You've just been carjacked. Similar to hijack. The reason why we call hijack is because the plane is high in the sky and the people don't lift the plane up. They just say, all of you people belong to us now. You are going to die. We have just hijacked the plane. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so carjack, more likely to happen to you. Now, 
I'm not going in order because I'm going to save the best two to last. You'll notice that there are five on the board. And there's a number there, so you're going to know this is a good one. Number three. Okay, see? Hold up. Holding them up. Jack, you see the jack? Here. You cigarette smoke, you blow. Well, you don't do that. You so... Right? But you notice this way, Mr. E's blowing so much, the man is flying away! This is when somebody says to you, if a criminal goes, Hey, if you move, I'm going to blow you away. It means I'm going to shoot you. I'm going to kill you. Usually with a gun or a weapon. Mr. E don't play. He's going to blow him away. <laughs> it rhymes, eh? Mr. E don't play. I'm going to blow you away. No, I don't have a rap career. I'm never going to have one. I barely have this as a career. career. So if he's going to blow him away, blow away means to blow, make you go away, or shoot you or hurt you. Blow him away! <sighs> All right? Now we have two more to go. One is going to be serious, so I'm going to be serious right now. Ready? I'm serious. James? Serious. Mug. You think of a mug as a cup. My famous cup from Lost Because Gone, it has green stuff in it. <laughs> okay. A mug is a big cup that we put hot beverages in. If we use mug in the criminal sense, it's different. To be mugged, please listen carefully because this is actually going to help you. If you are in Canada or the United States or in England and you say you were mugged, it's different than saying you were robbed. Listen carefully. When someone steals from you or you have been robbed, it means you may not have been in the area. You were maybe somewhere else, or you're at work and they robbed your house. Or maybe you left your wallet on the table, you went for a drink, came back, your wallet is gone. You've been robbed. Someone has stolen from you. Being mugged is different, and the police will treat it differently. Because when you are mugged, it means somebody has put a gun to you, to your chest or a knife and said, give me your money, and you have to give it to them then. If you say to the police, I was just mugged, they will want to know a description because it means you have seen the person who is taking your money. When you've been robbed, you may not know anybody who's taken it. It's just been stolen from you. Okay? So I am being serious here because it doesn't happen often, thank heavens, but if it does happen, you want to tell the police the correct thing. You want to say, I was just mugged. Because that means to the police that the person was there, you probably know what they look like, okay? If you say, I was robbed, sometimes robbed and mugged means the same thing, but mugged tells the police you saw them. They were there, or maybe they were behind you. So it means they may still be in the area. If someone has robbed you or stolen from you, it means they may never have been around you. So keep that in mind, okay? I don't often get very serious, but it's something to know because often students go, they say, you know, on the street someone came and asked for my money and then they, they no, I shouldn't say some students. I've not had a student happen. This hasn't happened. But when they talk about being stolen, I usually try and explain to them, did you see them? Did they put a weapon against you? They go, no. I go, okay, somebody robbed you? Yeah, maybe you left it or forgot it somewhere. But being mugged, different, okay? So, that was a serious one. So we're almost done. <clears throat> I told you five. United States of America. Ollie North. Ollie North, do you know about drugs and guns? I'll plead the fifth, sir. So many of you, you're going, what is the fifth? The fifth dimension? That's Rod Sterling. Do, 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 do. In a program from a long time ago. <laughs> um, but to plead the fifth, plead means from please to beg. Please, uh, please. Yeah, that's how I sing. Very bad. But to plead is like, can you please, 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 please help me? Plead. But it's also to beg or, in this case, to claim. When you plead the fifth, to plead the fifth, it's from the Fifth Amendment in the United States of America. We have adopted it in Canada. People understand what it means. To plead the Fifth means, I cannot speak about what has happened. It's usually a criminal activity, because I may have been involved. Hmm? To be exact, the American vernacular, what it means is this. I cannot incriminate, I cannot self-incriminate myself for the crime of which we are speaking. Common English, dude, I had something to do with it, I don't want to go to jail, so I'm not talking. When you plead the fifth, it means I don't want to speak because I know what happened or I was part of what happened. So if I say something, you will send me to jail as well. Now, that's formally, but you can plead the fifth and not be a criminal. 
you come home late at night, your girlfriend's and a guy walks up to you and goes, you smell like a woman. Where have you been? Now you know you've been to a strip club. Na 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 na. You know that doesn't make her happy. So you say, because you love her and you don't want to lie to her, okay, you say, baby, I plead the fifth. Here's another one, in case you're a really good person. There are cookies in your house. Your mother has made lots of cookies. You're the only other person in the house. Your mother goes out and comes back. All the cookies are gone. You have cookie crumbs all over your mouth. Crumbs are little pieces. A crumb is a smaller part of a larger part. So you have crumbs all over your mouth of cookies. Your mother goes, Ezekiel, did you eat those cookies? You go, oh, no. No. I plead the fifth. <laughs> Can I have some milk? Because <laughs> you're saying, I may have eaten them, but I'm not going to tell you that because I'm in trouble. So we've done five, well, not I guess idioms we could say, they're idioms, but more ideas about criminality. Criminality, look, a nice long word for saying, criminal activity, bum, bum, bum. Okay, mugged. Remember this one in case it ever happens to you, because you can get mugged in your own country. It just means in North America, if someone says, I was mugged this morning, somebody literally came up with a weapon, put it against them, and they said, okay, I'll give you the money, okay, 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 all right? It means personal, personally attacked. You could see, or the person was near you. Blow someone away. Shoot them, kill them, blow them away with your gun. Plead the fifth. I'm not talking. Get me a lawyer. <laughs> I'm not going to jail for this, because I know I had something to do with it. Carjacked. You're driving. Somebody comes and gets your car from you and takes it from you while you're driving, you've been carjacked. A hold up usually means robbery. Somebody's robbing a, a business, usually a bank, and there's a hold up. Cool? Great. Well, what's really criminal is I've got to go. I'm tired. I've had like an hour's sleep today. <sighs> Working on lessons for you, the people that I love. Okay? And it's just criminal that I can't stay here longer and give you more of what you deserve. But I know what I can do to help you because I, <laughs> Nixon, I am not a criminal. I am not a crook. <laughs> I will help you out and send you someplace where you can learn more. Okay? It will blow you away. In this case, and I'm going to explain this one because I know many of you will say, blow away don't mean to kill. Blow away mean to make you excited and really change your mind. <laughs> it's like, you're right. By the way, that's another imitation of a guy who had a TV commercial in Canada. It was great. You got me rich. Rich beyond your imagined wildest dreams. Look at these girls. They belong to me. <laughs> I love TV. Anyway, to blow away, a secondary meaning means if something blows you away, it means it's so incredible. It's like, shh, the wind blows you away. It blew my mind, man. Okay. But in criminal talk, it's to kill. I'm going to blow you away by sending you to a place where the learning is free. No criminal activity. Go to www.ingforenglishvid.com where you can find it's just criminal and other lessons and quizzes to help you improve your English. And I feel like one of those guys on the TV shows. If you see this worm trying to educate you, turn him in. Better yet, tune in. Goodbye. I'm James for Ingrid.com. <laughs>